Hi, I'm Mo, and I want to welcome all of you to MoAnderson.com. I'm really excited because I have a special, special guest from Layton, Utah. Her name is Liz Sears, and she owns her own real estate business. She's a professional real estate agent selling lots of houses, and I want you to know she's had an honor recently that's really special. She was chosen by her region to be the cultural ambassador for that region, and she was honored on stage at the Cultural Summit recently. And my, what an honor, Liz. Were you excited? Oh, it was so fun. It was amazing. It was really fun. And she's here. Liz is here to talk about random acts of kindness and how they can actually have a ripple effect. And so, Liz, I think your random act of kindness, which was a pretty big one, uh, happened with a school teacher buying supplies. Tell us the story. Okay. Uh, it was the day before I went on vacation and I just ran to Walmart to pick up one more item and I got in line behind this lady with a cart full of stuff. And as I was standing there, I started looking at it and realized that it was a bunch of crayons, like 35 crayons, 35 boxes of pencils, glue sticks, all of that. And so I just asked her if she was a school teacher and she said, yeah, it's probably pretty obvious. I said, yeah. And I asked her if she got reimbursed from because I thought she might not. My mom didn't when she was a teacher. And she said, no, not really. I get about $200 a year, but because I work at a Title I school, most of the kids can't afford supplies. So I usually end up spending between one and $2,000. And I just said, well, then I'm buying this today. And she looked at me and she's like, no, you're not. No, you're not. And she started to cry and she gives me this big hug because all I did was kept smiling at her. <laughs> and when, when, you and off, when you offered to buy all the stuff in her basket. Yeah. Oh, wow. And, you know, just look for opportunities to serve and that one just fell on my lap. So I thought, well, how perfect would that be? And then, um, so at the end she said, well, could I at least get your name? And I said, sure. And I pulled out a business card and being funny, I said, so if you know anyone buying or selling, and she said, I do. My parents right now are trying to sell their home or getting ready to sell it. And I would love if you would call them. So it turned into a listing lead. So your random act of kindness actually turned into a listing lead. That is just it's amazing. Good. What happened next? So then um, uh, I, w I went on vacation. I didn't come back for about 10 days. And in the meantime, she had posted on Facebook. She did a display, a display of all of the product that was in her cart and told about this stranger who just bought it for her. And she said, little did that woman know. Now I'm going to cry. <laughs> but, um, but she had been counting every penny because she was really short on funds. And it wasn't a big deal to me. It was just a hundred bucks, but to her, it was so impactful at the time. And then she, um, I get in touch with her parents and find out that the agent they had been working with had an investor that she wanted to sell their home to. And so she had said, oh, the most you can sell it for is 210,000. And so when I went down there and met with them and ran all the numbers, they really could sell it for about 260 to 270. So it turned out to be a bigger benefit to her with the school supplies that I didn't know about. And then I was able to help her parents. Well, they helped me because I got the listing and I helped them make an extra 50 or 60,000 as soon as um, we get it sold and it's going on the market next week. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, so has it sold yet? No, it's they, they have a little bit more work to do and we're going live on October 1st. So, so October 1st. So even if it sold a little less than the asking price, it would mm -hmm. mean thousands of dollars more Tens for of her parents. Of more. Yep. Well, well, did she write you a thank you note? Did she call you? Did did she do any of that? Yes, she reached out to me and she had her sister reach out to me and they were both just like, "We can't believe what you're doing for our parents. We had no idea." the amount of money that they would be basically leaving on the table if they had gone with what they were originally offered. 
So how did you contact Paula? So the way I ended up with Paula is that award that you said I got, I was supposed to send in a story about the service that I've done. And um, I had just done that for the teacher the day before. And I was super excited because it was just really so amazing to me to have an instant um, blessing back in my life that I wasn't expecting by helping her. And I said about helping a school teacher and Paula um, that I got connected with said, this is exactly what we do. Well, now let's tell our audience who Paula is. She is a woman in California who feels a calling to help school teachers. And she negotiates huge deals with vendors who pick up the leftover school supplies after school starts and everybody's bought their supplies. Paula mm -hmm. then stores those supplies in a big, huge warehouse. And then she has a live streaming radio show on the internet, on the computer. Mm -hmm. and, and then she gives huge, huge boxes of supplies to school teachers all over the nation. I think she has, what, like 10,000 followers? Oh my goodness. And uh, I, I cannot believe how much stuff she gives away to school teachers. So how did you find out about her and her ministry? So when, um, so when I sent in the cultural story and I told about how I helped the school teacher, um, I think it was Kelly said, you've got to talk to uh, Paula. And Kelly, and so I, Kelly is, is my wonderful mm -hmm. assistant. And yes, she's she the one who collects all of these stories from the cultural ambassadors for Keller Williams Realty. And mm -hmm. go ahead. And so Paula got in touch with me and she was so excited. She's like, this is exactly what we do. We love helping school teachers. And so the way that Right Road Kids is set up. Now what's Right Road Kids? Right Road Kids is the name of her organization. So yes. rightroadkids.com rightroadkids.com and that's Paula's website. Okay, keep going. This is so good. And so she told me that you can sponsor a teacher and you can do it alone or get a group of people together for a thousand dollars and five hundred dollars of it um, helps just teachers across the board through the program and the other five hundred goes to the teacher you specify. But because they get all of their supplies for pennies on the dollar because of all of their connections, they actually get closer to three to five thousand dollars worth of stuff. And even though I haven't sold her parents' home yet, I wanted her to have more supplies before school really got going. And so I sponsored her um, a couple weeks ago and she put in her wish list of what she wanted to get and the boxes have just started to arrive. So I have four big boxes at my office. I'm waiting for the last ones to come in and then I get to schedule to go to her school and deliver it. I'm very excited. Is she going to be surprised? She or was when she Paula know? contacted her. She even posted on my Facebook just a couple days ago, what am I going to do with you? You amazing <laughs> <Well done. laughs> <Generous> lady. <laughs> that is so cute, Liz. I love that. Mo, when the teacher posted that anonymous post saying that a, a stranger had purchased all those supplies in school, uh, she tagged me in it later after we became friends on Facebook. And one of the most amazing things about it is that the post had hundreds of comments, hundreds of shares and thousands of likes and reactions to it and what was most touching about all of those comments were people were inspired to go and do a good deed for someone else and saying they're still good in the world and i just feel blessed because the idea to even buy it for her was an idea i heard from someone else and so to be able to act on that and then just cause a pay it forward kind of mentality was so humbling it was so amazing and it makes you wonder how many people did a random act of kindness and and now you have leveraged random acts of kindness all over the world. It doesn't yes. that make you feel good? It does. It's it awesome. Does. Well, your random act of kindness has actually resulted in thousands and thousands of dollars worth of supplies to her to this teacher in addition to what you purchased for her. 
also, you did something at your market center, at your real estate office, and you had, I thought that was amazing. Can you tell us about that? Did, didn't um, you have a little I, dinner in the parking lot? Did you do that? Or was it another age? So I helped create um, a, a thing at our board called Food for Funds. And so we do competitions between um, different realtors or brokerages, however you want to team up. And whoever raises the most food, um, we can also do clothing items and everything. Everything gets a point value. So whoever raises the most gets $5,000 for their um, charity. Second place is 2,500, third place is 1,000. And last year we won. And uh, we also, so we got $5,000 for another Title I school that's in my area. And um, when we deliver all of the food, we also cook a hot breakfast burrito breakfast for the homeless and so it makes it a really great opportunity to bless all of them to just deliver all the food and eat a hot breakfast and last time we found out that our donations hit right when they ran out a couple of years ago it was right when their shelves went dry and we stocked them through April that's how much we brought in Liz your random acts of kindness are touching they are so important they have impacted lives and you're like our role model for random acts of kindness. So thank you so much for sharing. I'm just amazed by your story and I know our audience will be too. So go Liz, go. <laughs> Thanks everyone thank for joining in and hearing Liz's great, great story. We love you Liz and appreciate you. Thank you Mo. Okay, bye everyone.